Hey everyone and welcome to this new video of Simply Learn on Proof of Work in Blockchain. In this video, we are going to cover all important concepts and components related to Proof of Work. First, we will have a quick introduction of Blockchain. Then, we will understand what is Proof of Work. Then, we will look into how does it work. And after that, we will explore why is it actually needed. What are the issues faced by Proof of Work? And at last, we will look into the blockchains working with proof of work. So without further delay, let's get started with the video. But before that, let's have a quick introduction to blockchain. The term blockchain refers to a decentralized database that is made up of sequential blocks that contain recorded data. The database is backed up by a network of self-contained participants known as nodes. Now, let's understand what is proof of work. Proof of work is a decentralized consensus method that requires network participants to spend time solving an arbitrary mathematical puzzle in order to prevent the system from being hacked. It is widely used in cryptocurrency mining for validating transactions and mining new tokens. It helps in the processing of peer-to-peer -peer transactions securely without the need of a trusted third party. It also requires huge amount of energy at scale, which only increases as more miners join the network. Now, let's have a look at how proof of work works. The right to add new blocks to a proof of work blockchain is provided to individuals who are willing to expend computational resources to solve cryptographic issues. The participants competing to add new blocks are referred to as miners and the process is referred to as mining. Miners are the one who execute proof of work miners, use their computational power to locate a valid block when a piece of information such as a transaction needs to be added to the blockchain. This is accomplished by locating a hash that meets the network protocol specific requirements. In cryptography, a hash is the outcome of a hash function. It converts any format or size of data into fixed size numbers. The protocol established a level of mining difficulty that is algorithmically adjusted so that the time it takes to obtain a proper hash averages 10 minutes. Miners can sometimes locate multiple blocks that satisfy the protocol's requirements at the same time and split the chain n in two. Because there can be only one accurate chain, the protocol must account for these circumstances. Miners will initially continue to mine on both chains. But once another block is discovered on top of one of the two prior blocks, that chain becomes the canonical chain and miners are economically incentivized to discard the other block. One of the advantages of proof-of-work blockchain in terms of security is their resilience to civil attacks. The civil attacks occurs when one player in the network generates many false identities in the order to get an unfair edge over other network participants who only have one identity. 51% attacks occur when a single user takes control of more than 51% of the network's resources and hence has control over the adding of new blocks. Now we know how proof of work works. Let's dive down deeper and explore why do we need proof of work. Majorly, proof of work is required for security and fraud prevention as well as trust. Proof of work is intended to prevent users from printing coins they didn't earn or from double spending. If users could spend their coins more than once, the currency would effectively become worthless. Proof of work ensures that independent data processors or miners can't lie about a transaction. Linking a block with the proof of work hash of its predecessor results in tamper res resistance because the hash of each block is an ingredient in the hash of the following block. Any changes in the chain will affect the final proof of work hash as well as all block hashes in between. So the deeper the altered block, the more computational effort needed for tampering. The first miner who discovers the proof of work 
answers publishes their solution to the rest of the network when a new block is discovered all nodes are notified we check the answer twice before moving on to the next block ps if correct the block miners earn the transaction fees and the block reward the protocol only accepts the longest chain as valid and authentic a fake chain is impractical in the long run since a miner's chances of receiving the block reward are minimal other miners will continue to extend the valid chain quicker than the tampered chain over time moving on let's have a look at the other side of the coin as well as understand some of the major issues with proof of work first is it has a negative impact on the environment second the 51% attack can be used against it if miners gain control of 51% of the hashing power they will be able to determine what is true aside from the enormous cost of price there is no mechanism in place to punish any malicious miners and fourth because every node must process every transaction it does not scale properly while sharding the network may boost efficiency it also reduces security this was all about proof of work let's explore the best blockchain networks working with proof of work bitcoin is the largest and the very first blockchain to adopt proof of work and work with it ethereum is next working with proof of work though it is aiming to switch to proof of stake which we will talk about in a coming video then comes bitcoin cash which is an extension of bitcoin and follows the same structure thus it also works on proof of work then come litecoin which is also an altcoin of bitcoin and then comes monero another cryptocurrency serving similar purpose as other cryptos well this is all about proof of work in blockchain we have almost reached the end of this video if i missed anything important do let me know in the comment section I hope you enjoyed this video on proof of work in blockchain and learned something new from it. If you like this video then please do hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates and videos from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.